interpreter Robert and carrier line being prepared in Managalas area for a base camp. setting up radio antenna outside the Kiap's rest house, the house Kiap. Village scenes in the uh, Managalas area. Note many of the men are wearing a tarpa cloth loincloth. The tarpa cloth is the bark of a tree which has been beaten to make the cloth. Many of the village dogs have a strong resemblance to the Australian dingo. typical way of cooking the food in the village. Carriers being assembled for the day's patrol. A young boy, also known as a monkey in Melanesian Pigeon, going through his Sing Sing dance steps. Patrol in the Managalas, crossing a narrow log bridge. Patrol line, villages were required to keep the tracks between villages with grass cut and in good condition. The Managalas area, 40 kilometres south of Papandetta, in 1963 was largely undeveloped, mainly because there were, was no road access throughout the area and many of the villages were re remotely located away from the coastline and sometimes they were up to eight hours apart in walking time. Many villages still led a traditional life, largely unchanged since first contact. Yours, a disease which eats away the nose, was prevalent in the Manicolas and there were many cases of tropical ulcers and skin diseases covering the whole body called sapoma. A 4A base camp and the airstrip was positioned on the grassy area on the horizon. The Manicolas plateau is about 2,000 foot high and there was much volcanic activity thousands of years ago, resulting in the soil being very fertile.
Young boys, or monkeys as they are known in Melanesian Pigeon, many still wearing the traditional loincloth made out of tarpa cloth. Patrol line approaching a village. The carrier line heading up towards the house Kia. Interested villagers outside a house key app together with a village councillor. Typical village scenes in the Manigalas area. Youngster with a small wallaby. More difficult patrolling for the carriers. Village official with villagers and pigs roaming in the background. Mothers with their young children, piccaninnies in Melanesian pigeon. The carriers were amazing in the way they used to negotiate steep zigzag paths over rugged and tough terrain. Sometimes the walks between villages could be 8 to 10 hours over very rugged terrain. Carriers preparing all the equipment for the day's patrol in front of the house Kia. Some of the villagers from the Managalas area had very pale skin compared to lots of other Papua New Guineans. This was a feature of the Managalas area. The station interpreter leading the carriers across a rickety old suspension bridge. The carriers 
obviously believed the bridge was very strong as more than one group were prepared to cross the bridge at the same time. Another typical village in the Managalas area. Young boys with a small grass snake called a Gai Gai Maraki in the local Motu language of Papua. Patrol scenes heading down from the Managalas towards the coast at Pongani. through the tropical jungle. At this stage the carriers had been going for about six hours. Another typical village in the Managalas area. Mm. Women in typical village dress. Women gathering food to feed the carriers after their arrival after a long day's walk. Food being covered with banana leaves to be cooked in Moo Moo style. enjoying the feast, even the dogs getting a bit of the action.
Assistant District Officer Bob Fail conducting the census, listening to complaints, and arbitrating on disputes and any general matters raised by the villagers during the patrol stay in the village. Standing near Bob Fail in the dark uniforms are village officials and interpreters. As names are called out from the census book, the family leader comes forward to provide details of any changes in the status of his family. Heading out of the Managalas down towards Bongani. coming down from the mountains towards Bongani on the coast not far from Tufi. A small creek crossing. The carrier line crossing the Varigi River, not far from the village of Pongani. Bongani village. Old men from Pangani, Lapoons in Melanesian Pigeon, attending a genealogy survey. dreadlocks before they became fashionable. The black teeth are caused by a lifetime of chewing betel nut mixed with lime. Finish off patrol, a fleet of canoes from Pongani back to Oro Bay, a distance of about 25 kilometers.
view from a foray across the Managalas Valley to the Hydrographer's Mountain Range. Preparing rafts for patrol down the Musa River to Safia. Crossing Cane Bridge on patrol in the Afore area. Afore base camp looking towards Sela Mission and the Hydrographer's Mountain Range. Pater Pilatus Porter taking off from Afore airstrip. Kiap's house at Afore base camp. 